guys this is Veena Unikrishnan so this video is like i just wanted to let you guys know that power failures do happen in canada actually this is a surprising uh, even for me so that's why i'm just recording this uh, today like uh, we just had a power failure uh, at like 6 uh, pm and uh, we just actually call the uh, you know the company which we are which which supplies here which is like Fortis Alberta Inc and they just uh, informed us that the power will be restored by 9 pm today so actually we are like out of you know uh, power supply so our gas is not running right now our lights are off our heater is off so everything is off and we are just in front of the candle light and getting the heat so it's not that bad because like it's only been like uh, an hour and uh, now it's like 7 30 now it will be restored by 9 so even if we are we are not experiencing that way you, you can just see that we are not wearing any warm clothes it's like the usual clothes which we wear inside so it's not that uh, cold and the weather is also like not that cold it's like minus four outside so uh, the house itself is insulated so we are not experiencing that bad uh, weather inside the climate inside the house is not that bad but even if we are just you know experiencing uh, very cold we can just go inside our comforter which is really really warm so that's what we are doing at times here for now and so so these are the tips which you should be uh, keeping in mind when you have a power failure in Canada. First of all, please do remember to keep candles at home. And we do really get good scented candles here in Canada. So you can buy it. So this also helps to, you know, uh, relieve the stress out because of this, you know, darkness and all. It really smells good. And you have, you can, if you have barbecue you know barbecue st stuff so you can just uh, you know lighten that up and uh, keep yourself warm inside the room uh, so that's another thing and also the light stuff you know lightings which which does not run in electricity like you know batteries and all that will be also really nice so I think that will be really helpful but because they are on time actually when i called this fortis uh, alberta and they were already informed about the uh, you know the power outrage so uh, because i just uh, called them like in two minutes when the power was out so still they had they they really got the message and they're just working on it to replace the power and so that's it so power failure do happen in canada and uh, where, while you are like you know living away from the city so it do happen in countryside uh, this is my first ever experience because i have been in calgary for two more than two years i haven't experienced a power failure so this is a new experience so i just wanted to share hi guys so, so the power is back so it's like uh, 7 51 pm now they it's like they have estimated that the uh, power will be restored by 9 pm but it's like they have it really uh, that done a good job like they replaced it really quick so even though the power uh, uh, outrage happens uh, everything uh, here they deal really quick so that's what I understood and it wasn't that bad being in the uh, you know darkness or like uh, with, with the candles it's kind of reminded me of uh, you know the power failures in India so but it was really nice experience and happy to share this with you all thank you